Hi, I'm Peter Steck. I'm with QS Asia and we're at the QS Asia Pacific Professional Leaders in Education Conference and Exhibition. Now over the next three days, more than 700 delegates will gather here in Putrajaya for networking, exchanging knowledge, sharing ideas and of course our famous QS Square debate. So keep watching and let's explore what's going on here. Uh, very good morning. Uh, it's fabulous to see so many of you here this morning. This year, we're delighted that the 12th annual QS Alpha Conference is being hosted by University Malaysia Perlis, uh, UNIMAP, one of Malaysia's youngest and most dynamic universities. Our conference, at QS Apple, I'm delighted to say is now in its 12th year. Um, it brings together international educators, senior academic administrators, government officials, from across the Asia Pacific and the world. The world needs more great universities. And we in this room have the potential of building those great universities. For building those great universities, we are in absolutely the right position. We're in the right part of the world because economic power is shifting to East and South Asia. We can build a different great university. We can leapfrog. And of course, technology is going to play a role in it. Most, or if not all of us here in Asia Pacific, we all like to be great universities or world-class universities. To become world-class, you need world-class funding. And of course, in Asia Pacific, at the moment, we have uh, a lot of challenges in terms of funding. Um, and I think a lot of us here are probably affected by the oil price going down. With more universities coming into play, we're all looking at the same funding, the state funding. Everybody in this room, you are your country's elite brains. Part of being an elite brain, if you listen to a lot of what Einstein had to say, is always question, never stop asking questions. I would like to invite to the podium my colleague, Dr. Sonal Manocha, who will speak in support of the motion. Sonal. What is the very essence of a university? A university for me is a hub for developing people. Our students primarily, but of course also our staff. We know that four in 10 graduates by 2020 will come from China and India. The very skewed focus of global aspiration has led some universities to lose sight of the important fact that a university is a symbol of national history and character. Maybe in the early days I do agree to a certain extent that uh, yes, we can call a university and it is very localised. But now, it changed. We must realize that universities are established based on local needs, first and global aspiration. It's a second. I'm not for, uh, nor against. Uh, <laughs> That's an academic answer. <laughs> uh, I think you have to be local and have to have a balanced approach. Any of the two extremes is really dangerous for universities. When you look around the campuses, the objective is to create the global student. But when you look around a number of campuses, you find that they're all in silence. I'm from China, I'm from Beijing University of Technology. Actually, personally, I don't think that I used to support this motion, but after the debate, so I'm tentatively transparent to you, not supporting this motion. I am a product of the 1960s and 70s when they used to say, think globally, act locally. And yeah, this is our global aspiration for university to change our English name from King T University to King Dai University. Because wherever, wherever we go in the global market, they can only get laughing when we introduce ourselves that we are from King T. Wow! <laughs> Well, congratulations, Alison and Cairo, you've, uh, and those of you that spoke against in the audience. What it proves to me is that the future of our globe is in good hands because you are all prepared to listen and change your mind.
My presentation today titles uh, We for Asia. You make it into the very high level already. So it means it means that we trying to do the collaboration with the, some university. And my first job was to come up with a scheme to push people around, to push the students around. We have the assumption that they are coming to us, but when you compare, if you do not pro properly provide the infrastructure. By the way, for all the others, because we had a lot of the statistics there, very useful statistics, if you want copies of the slides, please give your email address. We think that probably we have to look into the three major components. It is my proud privilege on behalf of Amity University to announce the Creative Awards for the 12th QS Apple. Qatar University, Qatar. Can we have a huge round of applause, ladies and gentlemen? The bronze award for best international print advertisement goes to Qatar University. And the award for most creative good design goes to Education Malaysia. is going to present the employability ranking. The University of Mumbai does very well um, in this context. Tokyo, Delhi, so the leading Indian universities, obviously very large, uh, and a lot of Indian entrepreneurs. Okay. Can, can, can you bring your question to an end? Because we've got other people wanting to. Yeah, so, so the first question uh, is, are we looking at the quality of the journals in, in Scopus? So, yes, absolutely, we are. National, at least, at the university has a sponsorship from some, uh, some um, um, industry. And we actually took the view that we would look at top employers, top choice. So we actually got all the schools at the university to identify. Knocked out ranking is because we're planning to ask more questions <laughs> as, as we move forward to evolve this. And what brings you to QS Apple for the seventh time? QS Circle uh, is a unique and outstanding opportunity for networking with your colleagues, for meeting new friends and seeing your old ones in new locations all around the world. I think it just demonstrates how much we share and I think that all those, um, where we overlap and where we have things in common, I think we all have a responsibility to work together. I think it's amazing to have this program and in this uh, event, this conference very perfect to the, to the institute or to the university. Uh, today I think we had an extremely lively debate on a, on a very timely topic. Um, the topic was of course one which I in the beginning didn't expect to win at all. Different kinds of things that they were doing but essentially all everything was driving towards one market, globalization. Modern higher education is the antithesis of that. It's about collaboration, it's about sharing ideas, it's about moving around the world and understanding how different countries and cultures and systems operate. I think it's been a wonderful event. Um, we have learned so much from being here. We have met delegates from the Americas, from Europe, from Asia, and uh, discussing on different issues that uh, we all go through uh, dealing with education. Uh, it has been a great meeting place for academics, uh, for the industry, uh, to talk about the new trends, to talk about ranking excellence, uh, institutional uh, driving forces which make universities what we are today. Thank you to the International Academic Advisory Committee and to our fearless chairman, Professor Nandi Pichai, for inviting us to present the Asian Pacific Forum. 
hopefully together it's amazing We believe by working together, we can move forward to be among uh, the top universities in the world. And this already brings us to the end of the 12th QS Apple. We would particularly like to thank our sponsors, delegates, and of course the hosting partner Unimap for their fantastic contribution to this edition. And if you've missed the 12th QS Apple, not to worry, the 13th QS Apple is in Taichung, Taiwan next year. So I look forward to seeing you there.